welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do my October haul. Yay! If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below if you like girly fashion, cooking, and books. And um, this is gonna, I'm gonna have this haul and then I'm actually gonna do a Victoria's Secrets haul and unboxing which will be my next video. And then I have a big announcement to make that I'm super excited to let you all know about. That uh, video is probably going to come out the weekend right after Thanksgiving or that following week. But probably that weekend because I'm going to have a four day vacation. Woohoo! I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, so let's get started into this haul. I'm going to start with the books because, you know, I, I have to get books. But I started, there hasn't been a book review recently. I've read a whole bunch of books and I have a pile of books sitting to review, but I just haven't been in the mood to sit down and think of a review for them. But hopefully I'll have more time here soon. But, ugh, for today, I have books. I went to Second Avenue and they had, what was it, it was like paperback books for a dollar and hardback books for like two dollars. So I found some good books, I think. I got John Green's Looking for Alaska. I haven't read that one before. I got, I don't think I have this book yet, um, The American Heiress Daisy Goodwin. I think I've read one of her books, and I think I might have another one of hers, but I don't... Sometimes I pick up books and then I forget I have them, so I pick them up again, but they're always used, so it doesn't really matter. I can give them to someone. And I recently did the book review for Princess Academy. Well, they had the second book in the series, Palace of Stone. So I decided to get that, because I did like the first book. Hopefully I like this one. Even though, I mean, the first book was not the best, but... Then, uh, this book here has not yet, to my knowledge, been released in paperback. And they recently made a movie of it, and I just never picked it up and they had it, so I was really like, sure, why not? It's two books. I need to watch the movie for this, too, because apparently it's supposed to be good. And then, I have another book by Jennifer Conley. I think it's in Northern Way? I can't remember, and I think I read it. It's been a while, but they had this one here called Revolution. And it's one of those, you know, someone in our time period, and back then, and like, whatever is happening overlaps, which is kind of interesting. So those are all the books I got. Then I guess I'll do shoes and accessories, like purses and stuff, and then I'll do the clothes. Um, let's see. I had a wedding to go to the, uh, in October for um, some of my husband's close friends, and I don't really have any dress shoes except for Lolita shoes which I wasn't going to wear Lolita to his friend's wedding. I did it to my sister's because my sister knows me and she's okay with it, but I don't know how his friends would feel about that. So it was like the end of the month and I needed a pair of shoes and I had like 10 or $15 that I could spend on a pair of shoes to wear with this outfit that I'd come up with. Um, well, I ended up going to Payless and they had like these shoes are originally $34 they had them for like 10 bucks, plus I had like a 30% off coupon. So I got these really pretty shoes and insoles for $10 and change. And these by themselves started off as $34. Um, they're the Christian Suriano for Payless, and they're this really pretty uh, blush color. And they got these pretty little Laces! Pretty little laces! I'm just, yeah. Um, with the little gold metal on it, and they were pretty comfortable. I went, I mean, I didn't really make them through, I mean, I wore them through the whole wedding, but by the reception, like, I was just like, I'm gonna sit here and not move because my feet hurt. Please don't make me get up. So, but they're still really pretty, and they're gonna go with a lot of the stuff I have. And then I had a interview 
this month and I needed some nice dress, black dress shoes. Plus, you know, I just, I just need a good pair of black dress shoes. I have like these black uh, ankle boots, but they're really high and not very comfortable. Let me tell you, these are actually really comfortable. I actually wore them also for my Halloween costume to be Mabel from Gravity Falls. And I wore these, I think it was like seven hours before my feet started hurting. And I'm like on my feet the whole time because, you know, at Wegmans, you can't sit down because of reasons. Um, but <laughs> I literally stood on my feet for like seven hours, no problem. And then like my feet hitting the top of the shoe started to make my toes ache. And that was really it. Like my arch didn't hurt. You know, where the pad of my foot is didn't hurt. It was just my toes running into the top of the shoe. And that was after seven hours. So those are really nice shoes. I actually got those at Ross, I believe, for like $15 or something. Um, so I highly recommend those. And then the last pair at Wegmans, they have some, they're getting their like Christmas novelty stuff out. And they have these really cute like velveteen um, slippers, the little pom-pom. They're so cute. And I mean, they're not that comfortable, but they were like six bucks. And they're gonna go with my stuff, so why not? Then, <sighs> I was so happy. I saw this purse. I actually saw this purse when I, I forget when, but, oh, I was returning something, that's right. I bought some, I bought a shirt for that interview I went to but I didn't like the way it looked on me. It made me look like a teacher instead of like professional businesswoman. So I returned it and you know, I have to like, like browse around, even though I didn't have money. And I saw this purse, the guest purse. It's, oh. and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna have money next. Uh, yeah, I think this was Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night I went in there to return it. I was like, I'm gonna have money on Thursday. I really hope that purse is still there because I'm coming back on Thursday to see if this purse is still there because it's just everything. So <laughs> it was still there. I was so excited. I even told the cashier, I was like, yeah, I saw this on Saturday and I didn't have enough money for it. And now I do and it's still here and it's awesome. And it's really cool because it has three compartments. It's got, um, woo, it's got this front one that has no pocket. Then it has this middle one that has two like little pockets and then one long one in the back that's perfect for my phone. And then a back compartment, which I figure, hey, great for books. I can put a book in there. I love, like my problem is a lot of purses that are very functional and have lots of compartments to be able to like put your book in it so it doesn't get damaged. They're not as cute or fashionable as other purses. So I really like this purse. It's great. I hopefully can like just throw my book in there. Only it gets really heavy. Like even just like right now, it's kind of heavy and there's nothing in it. But it's um dark rose and it's uh, light rose too. So it's this two tone pink and it's a crossbody. You can also shorten it to make it just shoulder, but I really like it as a crossbody. And I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I really like this. Um, no Charlie, Charlie, stop. Um. Then, while I was out and about, I was at Walmart. Oh, I was at Walmart and I got a blazer for my interview. And I saw this. I happened to walk past the accessories and there is this really cute, it's a unicorn balloon animal. And it's like a metallic -y pink and it's just oh, so cute. I love it. And I have matching earrings, but I don't have them pierced ears, so I'm thinking about giving them to one of my friends if she likes them. Um, but yes, so cute. I wore this with my rainbow sweater one day this month and it was just perfect. Oh, it was very cheap, but it was like four dollars. So, whatever. And then my last, like, accessory type thing is this Anne Klein watch. Very cute. It's kind of like a peachy pink along here and around here and then a gold tone and actually has a little tiny diamond at the very top where, you know, noon and midnight are. And it's really cute. I got it um, from HSN. I was like, oh, I have my pretty rose gold one. I need like a gold gold one now. 
And then I have another gold one. I think it's Amatron or something like that. And it has like this pretty like yellow gem on top of it, but the battery has died, so I need to get that replaced. I went and ordered two months ago? I think it was two months ago off of eBay. I ordered uh, four berets, and they were like two or three dollars a piece, and so those came in October. So I got this pretty purple one. It's, um, I'm not sure if it's lilac. I think it's more of a lilac, because it's a, a pinky purple. I'm going to say this is lilac. Then I got this really pretty, like, bubblegum pink one. And I got this really bright, like, fuchsia rosy colored one. And I got a red one. So I have a lot of berets to, like, accessorize with. Um, and then I got this also I got from HSN. It is a leather, a blush colored leather jacket and it's just really nice. It's a little tight in the shoulders and I wanted to return it for like a medium, but they were sold out. This, this went so fast. Like they put it up on HSN and it was just like the blush color, bam, out in all colors. And I'm just like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to make do with the small because yeah, they said like the measurements they gave, this was supposed to like be huge on me. And instead it's just like, it fits, but I can't like wear a sweater or anything underneath. I'd have to wear like a normal, like a, a thinner dress or... I did wear a sweater under, because I wore this also to the wedding with my blush shoes. And it did keep me warm and I had like a thin sweater on and it, it worked okay for that. It wasn't too tight. I think also the more I wear it, it will stretch out more. So I really, really like this. It's very fashionable and chic. I like it a lot. Then I got this to wear to my interview. Just pretty pink top with little, um, I'm not really sure what these are. They have like little hearts on them, but I'm not really sure how they did it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's called. It's like sticking out of the shirt, but it's like not sewn on. It's not like a bead. It's material that's on top of it. So I don't know. This is really cute. I wore this with blazer from Walmart. And it's really cool because the sleeves here look like you kind of like rolled up your uh, sleeve a little bit, but it's made that way. And it's just like, oh, this is really nice. I really like this. Awesome. Cool. Really, really comfy. It's not too hot. So, I'll probably be wearing that more. Hint, hint. Um, and then from Hot Topic, I got these two skirts. They're pink. Oh, I got the fuzzy. I've been having my eye on this one for a while. But, uh, it was like, I think spring when this came out. I was like, it's a fuzzy skirt. I don't need a fuzzy skirt in spring. That's just crazy. So I waited and I finally got it. And it lays a little weird, but I think it's going to look really nice with like a sweater, just like that really cozy look. And then I also got, they released um, a line of Riverdale clothing and of course Betty and all her pastels. Sorry, this is really wrinkly. But it's hers, her skirt, and actually has like little milkshakes on the buttons. It's got real pockets. It's like this really thin corduroy, corduroy material. And I didn't know this when I bought it, but on the inside, it actually has like dark Betty on the inside of the skirt. I don't know why you would waste money to do that because no one's gonna see it. I, I just noticed, cause I was like, I was looking, I was like, what? But you can't wear it inside out, so I don't, like, I don't know, it just seems like a waste of money to put Dark Betty on the inside of this really cute pastel skirt, but. I haven't worn this yet because I need to iron it, or I might want to get a seamer because I cannot iron to save my life. I have tried. I have tried so hard, and I just can't do it. So maybe if I get, like, one of those little steamers, it will, like, steam the wrinkles out of it, and then I won't have to, like, iron and fail miserably.
miserably. And then I kind of, I went a little pushing crazy. A little bit. The other thing I got from Hot Topic was this really cute color block pushing t-shirt. Which is like, oh, it's everything. And he's eating a little planet cookie. He's sitting there in the little pocket. So this is a lot like the color block short sleeve shirt that I bought in September, but it's a long sleeve version, and I haven't worn it yet, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And then from Hey Chickity, um, I don't know, y'all have probably seen this, but this is my new favorite dress. It is so comfy and so cute, and it has pockets. Like a giant t-shirt. It is so, so comfy. It's super, super soft. It's got cute little pushing. Cute little pushing. And it says so la lazy and it's embroidered. And pushing, pushing isn't that soft. He kind of feels like carpet. But he's so cute. Oh, and I, oh, I love this so much. I actually wore this yesterday. And I was wearing it earlier today before I took a shower, but now I'm clean and this needs to get washed. So, I'm not wearing it right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wearing it right now. And then I also got these cute pushing socks to match it. And yes, these are also, I wore these yesterday with the pushing dress. So, it's extra pushing and extra, extra kitty. So, yes. That is everything I got this month. Um... Please let me know if you all got anything cool this month and what you like best out of my haul. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button below. And also, if you like this video and you want more of them, please give me a like. That would be awesome. I like likes. I have a decent amount of people watching my videos, but I don't get very many likes. And I don't think I've got any dislikes yet, which is good. Please don't, don't dislike my videos. But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!